Hello everybody, it's Kyle with the Brothers Claws. Welcome to my episode 3, my third episode uh, in my Pandora series. Uh, still waiting for Chad to get started in his. I think he's actually going to get started today, so we'll see if he hops on. Um, you know, I was watching my other video too, and I move around too much when I'm talking, so I'm going to try to stop. Uh, so today, what we have planned is to build a quarry. But, a couple buts, I don't really want to build it here in this pristine world because I don't feel like totally and utterly destroying this world. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create another Mistcraft Age that'll just be my mining age, essentially. It'll just become my resource pool. Um, so, let's just jump right in and start doing that. Um, Let's head back to the overworld and we're going to write ourselves a new age. Um, now I'm going to keep this age really simple. So we'll grab a new descriptive book and another linking book and let's name this Kyle's Strip Mine. Um, and I also, I built my world without any swamps, and I need rubber, so I'm going to make this a swamp whenever I can find where that's at. I would have thought it'd be green, but apparently not. Jungle, ice, swampland, sort of green. And single biome, mm, bright lighting, and we're going to do normal, normal, normal. I don't want any terrain features. Um, should I make it flat? It's kind of boring, but it would make some things easier. Uh... Yeah, let's see what happens. Time. I want it to be eternal day. We want no weather. And I could do a dense ores, but that's a little OP to start the game out. And I don't know if my server can handle the corruption very well. So, there's the book. Let's head back into my world. Um, I don't think I'm going to put this book here in the overworld. I think I'm just going to leave it in my world. So, uh, let's make a book stand. So for those of you who don't know how to make a book stand, it's three wooden blocks along the bottom, and one there, and one there. And that gives us a link book stand. Um, so that's what you can put the book on. So I'm just going to put it right here next to my other one. Um, and so we've got, oh, I'm in creative mode. Uh, I was playing around in another world earlier and totally spaced that. So let's let's delete this extra thing I have. Not what I meant to do. Sorry about that, guys. I wasn't cheating intentionally. Okay, I think we're fine. Um, the crafting should have... Yeah, the crafting did use the items, so... Um, but that does remind me, I am going to make another stand just so that uh, I have somewhere to put the book when I get there. Oops. Oh, fail. Can't seem to craft today. All right, so I'm going to enter this world. Um, it takes a little bit of time for uh, our server to generate worlds, so I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back to you as soon as it's generated. Okay, um, I'm in creative mode still. How did that happen? What is going on? Um, I seem to have spawned in... Well, this didn't work at all like I expected. <laughs> Um, yeah, and why don't I have, why am I in 
Oh. Duh. I didn't actually turn off. Okay. Um so this this world sucks. Let's uh let's see what we can do about that. And it seems to be charged or something. I don't know why it has thunder. Can I place a book stand down here? <laughs> I can. And back to the overworld. It's not really what I wanted anyway. Let's uh let's try this again. So we're going to generate a world. We're going to call it Kyle's um, Strip Mine. We're going to make it a Swampland, Single Biome, Standard Lighting, Normal Sky, Normal Sunset, Normal Fog, No Terrain Features. We are going to do Standard Terrain this time though. Eternal day, no weather. Okay. Let's try this again. Back into age. So we will take out this one. We will put in this one. And we'll try this again. I'll be right back. All right. This looks much, much better. I forgot to bring a book stand with me, so I'll just make one real quick. Um, grab that wood, and my achievements got reset. Always good. Uh, oh, I need another piece, because I have to make a crafting table. Um, so I chose a swampland, like I said, because I need the um, uh, rubber from industrial craft rubber trees and I didn't think I had any in my area or at least not any close by so let's put this book in there alright now I got our way out um, so that's what uh, these trees are these ones the darker bark you can see this little spot on them that is a, a rubber tap um, and they sometimes hide up into the branches and stuff like that um, so what that'll let you do is tap the tree for sticky resin and then you can bring that out into or extract it into rubber um, or cook it into rubber so let me get a couple things I'm going to put this book that I don't want anymore in our incinerator we got quite a few in there I need to delete that's just the place I put books to remember to delete them later. So, into my world. Um, do I have any? I don't have any reads. I really kind of wanted that to link me back into here. I'll get to it eventually. Um, so, tree tap. Let's make one. You make a tree tap by making a shape that sort of looks like a valve. Um, like spigot there, knob here. That's a tree tap. And let's see. I should probably macerate these ores to make them go a little further. So let's hop in here and let's trap, tap, excuse me, a bunch of trees. I'll show you how this works. Um, if I can find one. Of course, that tree doesn't have one, but there's tons of trees here. So. If you right click on a tap, you'll get the sticky resin. Now you can right click again and you'll get more, but now that tap is done. It will never reproduce another tap. If I just click once on one of these, what you'll see later is that those spots will come back and you can tap them a second time. Uh, and you can actually tap them infinitely if you wait. Um, it's only if you tap them multiple times after you've already um, made the spot go away that you run into trouble. So I'm just going to spend some time here getting as much of this as possible because I don't want to come back. So I'm essentially just going to do it until my tool breaks here, which is not going to be too much longer at this rate. Because before I build the quarry, I want to make some of our dug up ores 
go a little bit further. I just picked up a mushroom. Um, there's some more over here. Bloop. There's another one. More. Oh, and there goes my tool. Okay. So let's head back. Since I have to go the long route, I will be right back when I get there. Okay, back into my world and um, what we can do. So now that I've got this, we can make a couple other things. Uh, is there anything else I'm missing to get started? I don't think so. So let's make a couple of industrial craft items. I'm going to need eight pieces of iron. I'm going to need um, I think I need a battery. Uh, my resolution is oops, wrong button. is off and I can't do a search. Uh, no, sorry. So I want to make a generator first. Um, yeah, I need a battery. Okay. So I'm going to need one of these. I'm going to need two of these and uh, two tin or four tin. Okay. Um, I might as well do some of more of that. So let's get a bunch of this stuff going first. Put away some blocks that I don't need. Okay. Uh, oh, I need copper too. Six. Might as well do eight so that I'm not being wasteful. Uh, actually, I got I got so much tin. It's or uh, charcoal. It's not even funny. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need is a macerator. So that is machine block, and electric circuit, and that. So I need, I'll show you guys how to make these once I get to them. Uh, that's those. I'm going to need one more of these. That. You know, why don't I come back once I have everything I need so that uh, you're not staring at me just picking things. Okay, I think I have everything I need. It looks like the rubber finished cooking. So I'm going to cook up uh, a bunch of this iron ore next. I'm going to need another piece of coal. We'll put that in there. Uh, I am The one thing I am short, let's sleep through the night real quick, is a piece of flint. But that's an easy thing to remedy. Let's just uh, place down and break place and break. Eventually, we should, hopefully, there's one, get that last piece of flint. So let's put away gravel and now I am essentially just waiting for, I'm going to need some pieces of cobblestone too, I missed that, uh, waiting for things to smelt. So. Um, what I'm going to do off camera, since I only have the one furnace and it's pretty much holding me up right now, is I'm just going to smelt all of this right here. This uh, 12 pieces, sorry, 16 pieces of iron total, 12 copper, 4 tin. I will be right back. You know what, while I wait, I'm actually going to make myself one more uh, furnace. It'll help speed this up and I need it for one of the other steps. So let's just place it right here and we'll start smelting up the copper. Uh, we're almost done with this. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just wait for it all to finish. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I have finished smelting all those ores. Now, one thing we have to do, and this is uh, something new in industrial craft, so if you're not familiar with it, this is going to be kind of 
weird probably, but I'm going to take this iron ingot and I'm going to smelt it again. Now what that's going to do is it's going to further refine this iron. This is part of industrial craft into refined iron. Um, and refined iron becomes the ingredient for a lot of the industrial craft um, items. In particular it's used to make machine blocks which is sort of the core uh, of any uh, industrial craft machine. So um, I need all of this, all 17 of them, to be refined iron. So this might take a little bit again. So as soon as that's done, uh, I should have everything I need to just start crafting. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I'll throw a couple more pieces of coal into it, and I'll be back in a minute. So the refined iron's almost done, but while I wait for that to cook, we'll start crafting a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to make is a battery. Uh, actually, sorry, not the first thing I'm going to make. The first thing I'm going to make is um, some copper cable. So if you take three pieces of copper and put it across, um, you don't have to do two. I just need that many of them. Uh, you can get this uninsulated copper cable. Now I need it to be insulated, so what I'm going to do next is put rubber all the way around it. Now I've got insulated copper cable. So we'll get that 12 pieces and then we'll make a battery. A battery is tin on both sides, a couple pieces of redstone in this in the middle, and a piece of copper cable. Um, and that gives us a battery. Again, this is all industrial craft stuff. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do, it's almost done here, uh, is make a machine block. So if you take eight pieces around, you get a machine block. And the very last thing I'm going to do is pick up this. How close is this to being done? Almost. I kind of want to pick this one up just because it's on top. I don't, don't think it matters. Pick up that. So, if we put a furnace, a machine block, and a battery, that gives us a generator. And then the next one we need we need another machine block and then we need what's called an electronic circuit and there's two tiers to this but it's a piece of refined iron with two redstone surrounded by copper cable that gives us an electronic circuit um, and this is the component used in almost all of the machines along with a machine block the only ones that don't use it are uh, generators and I think that's probably it. The generator is probably the only one. So if we put that, that, these across the top, and these two, perfect. We get a macerator. Alright, so what can we do with this stuff? I think I might want to move my bed. Um, at some point I need to big, build a bigger house, but I want to get my resource stuff started first. Uh, so let's just put it here and here. Not pretty, but it should work. So what the generator does, the, sorry, let me start with the macerator. The macerator will take ores and grind them up, but it requires power. Now you can see there's no place to put coal like there is in the furnace. You can't put coal down here and your thing up there to get this. Um, it runs off of electricity. And that's where the generator comes in. So the generator is sitting right here, and when I put coal into it, or I'll put these two pieces of charcoal, it will start burning that charcoal to generate energy. And you can see now this little thing is red, meaning it filled up with some energy, and anything excess gets stored inside, wow, I only need one piece of charcoal, stored inside the generator. Um, now the generator, if I put a whole stack of 64 in there, it'll continuously burn that charcoal, even if it has nowhere to put the energy. So that's why I took that out. And what it does, uh, let's start with gold. Um, when you put gold ore in a macerator, and now that that's going, you'll be able to see power drain out of here. Should see power drain out of here. There it goes. Um, I, so I'm going to have to pay close attention to that while I macerate stuff to make sure I don't run out of power. See how I got two pieces of gold dust from that one piece of gold? If you put that gold dust 
in a furnace, it can get cooked into gold bars. So essentially what the macerator does is it doubles your ore. Um, so out of one piece of gold ore, I'll get two gold ingots. So it's just done another one. I'll throw these in just because I don't want to waste the uh, waste the charcoal. Looks like it's nighttime again. One more. See if I can keep up with it. So uh, what I'm going to do is macerate some of these ores before I use them. That will help me make the most out of them so I don't have to do quite as much mining. Um, and I think this was all the gold that I needed. Probably more than the gold I needed. Um, I'm also going to need uh, probably that much iron. So let's get that going. I'm going to need some more coal to put in the generator. Yep. Um, perfect. That worked out really well with the the gold macerating macerates faster than it cooks okay um, and let's get started building dun, da, 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 our quarry oops so the first thing I'm gonna need um, is some gears because gears are required for the quarry so I'm gonna need a whole bunch of sticks that's probably more than enough and you make uh, gears starting with wood by putting sticks in sort of a gearish looking pattern and then I'm gonna upgrade these I need cobblestone I'm gonna upgrade these to a cobblestone gear and you'll see it's similar kind of pattern so we'll get all of those uh, I think I have enough gears. Uh, the next step in the gear upgrades is iron, so I'm going to need to get iron for that. And I don't know that I have quite enough iron. We've got a friendly spider who's come to say hi. So let's start smelting up some iron. Yep, I'm going to need a lot more iron than that. Let's do four more. You can't shift click into um, industrial craft machines for some reason. It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to continue um, doing a couple of these. Let me get two more and I'll just show you how this works and then I'll upgrade all the gears to iron. Um, if you're paying any attention, I'm sure you've figured out how you upgrade to iron. And I'm also going to need uh, the diamonds. So we go from stone gear to iron gear. And I'll do the other ones later. From iron gear to gold gear. And finally gold gear to diamond gear. So a diamond gear is a lot of resources. I need two of them. I also need three gold gears and two iron gears. So I need a lot of gears. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time um, making those gears. You hear that noise. That was the machine running out of power. Um, so I'm going to make all these gears. Two diamond, four gold, or three gold. Let me double check this. Quarry. Oh, I was wrong three iron, two gold, two diamond, and I'm also going to need a diamond pickaxe, so let's just make that real quick. Diamond pickaxe. Okay. And a piece of redstone, that's easy enough. Nope, I already had one. Okay, so I'll be back as soon as I have all these gears. Okay. I think I have everything I need, just need to make the last couple of gears here. So we'll make this one iron. I was one gear short earlier. I needed seven total. Um, and two gold. 
And then to the quarry, which I believe is like this, with the diamond gears up here, the gold ones there, and that. Uh, no. What do I have wrong? I have it. Uh, ah, those two. There we go. Quarry. Cool. Uh, now I'm going to need something to power this quarry, and at least to get started, I'm going to make a combustion engine so I can burn this coal. Um, I'm going to need for that some more gears. So I need two more gears. And I need them to be cobble. Um, I need a piece, I need a piston. So I need one more piece of iron, which is unfortunate. So let's get that going. Um, and wood. And I'm going to need a piece of glass. Yeah, this will be a lot better once I get my quarry going and I've got some automation happening so I don't have to waste as much time or as much coal to get some of these things going. It'll also be nice when I can speed up some of these machines because they're tediously slow. Uh, I'm gonna put away that and oop, I need one of those don't need that, I don't need that. And I don't want to lose this. I'm gonna go kill that stupid spider. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, piston, which is just a vanilla thing. Should be like this. There we go. So a piston with two gears, piece of glass, and cobblestone gives us a steam engine. Um, I said combustion engine earlier. I meant a steam engine. Um, and I actually am going to want a couple of those. So let's make two more. I need two more pieces of glass. I'm also going to need a bunch more pieces of that. Okay, so gears. Upgrade them to cobble. I need to make a couple pistons. I need more cobble. Never-ending problem. And ah, I need more iron too. Let's just make one for now. We'll get started with these and I'll come back later and do the others. Okay, so two of those. We'll grab the quarry. Um, I'm also going to want some chests. Ah, figures. Let's turn all of that into wood. All right, chest. Do I have everything I need? Um, I'm going to want one of these also, a lever, and probably more coal. Okay, let's head over to my strip mine. Let's find a nice place to start strip mining, and we're just going to place it down. Now, you can do some fancier things with this uh, quarry and tell it how big of an area you want it to mine out, but because I'm interested in actually getting down to lower resources um, quickly, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe I do still want it to be bigger. If you just place it like this, you see this marks out a 
um, area to mine, and it's, I believe, one chunk in size, um, which may be good enough for me. So I'm going to put a chest next to it and two engines. That will power it. Uh, I didn't need the redstone because I'm just going to put that there. So we'll put this here, this here, and turn it on. Um, now what will happen is this little robot will come out and he will start building the frame of this quarry and it'll go right on where the um, where the construction tape is at. Um, kind of a cool the little little robot is added in um, the most recent edition of Buildcraft. We're running Buildcraft 3 something. It's whatever the current release was at the time here. Um, and so the robot is new. It used to just build the arm, which is it's fine with me. I don't know that the robot's really necessary, but it looks cool. Um, so once he's done building the frame, then the quarry arm will come out and it'll start harvesting um, harvesting the blocks. So let's, uh, let's let the robot finish and I'll come back right when he's going. Um, while this robot's going, I should probably explain how the engines and stuff work. I built the steam engines, which are the middle of the road build craft uh, engines. There's redstone engines is the lowest one, and then combustion engines is the highest. Um, they each have their own pluses and minuses. The redstone engines will never blow up. They never have a problem. You can run them forever. No problem whatsoever, but they don't emit much power. They're really not useful for many things like a quarry or any of these kind of cooler stuff. Um, they have a use. They're really good for pulling stuff out of chests and that kind of stuff, but um, not so much for this. The steam engines, which is what I'm using right now, are f decently powerful. Ooh, that's an interesting flickering. Um, so there goes the quarry arm. So it's going to lower down and it's just going to start harvesting blocks. And what it'll do, once it harvests the block, is spit it into the adjacent inventory. So it's just going to start putting stuff in this chest. If I didn't have the chest here, it would just start spewing things up in the air. Um, anyway, back to the engines. So um, these burn things, pretty much anything you can put in a furnace, you can put in a steam engine. But uh, you'll see right now they're blue, and that means they're cold engines. As they run longer periods of time, they'll warm up. They'll go from blue to yellow to green to red. Um, it might be blue, green, yellow. Anyway, when they're red, a bright red, that means they're over temperature and they're very likely to explode. We can actually see, if I hide this stuff, um, what these things are doing. So you can see that the heat is just rising, right? Um, well, it's actually, you know, with the quarry, it probably won't overheat because uh, these things overheat if the, uh, or it's a bug. This doesn't seem to be acting quite the way I expected it. Uh, if they are storing power, Minecraft jewels, they tend to overheat and explode. Um, so this might be okay like this, actually. Uh, the last one are combustion engine. They they burn liquid fuels, um, oil and actual like fuel when you refine the oil. Um, those ones require water cooling, otherwise they do definitely explode. There's some more engines added by forestry, but I'll get into those whenever we hit those. So um, I'm gonna just let this thing go for a while. Now, part of the reason I put it this close to my spawn is because there's a little trick in Minecraft. It will keep a, I think it's a 50 block radius, maybe it's one or two chunks, loaded around spawn at all points. Um, it's sort of just a trick that way when you enter a world, it's already there. So I should be able to just leave this world and let it continue to run. So let's see, we're pretty much at the last level. So let me leave this world and uh, I'll come back and we'll see if it is dug down any further. And if it has, that will be awesome. 
And I really need to build a book that links me a whole lot closer. Let's, well, I'm just going to leave. So, hmm, might not have done it. Might not have continued running. Um, so what we'll have to do to fix that problem is put in a chunk loader. Uh, sorry, it's not called a chunk loader anymore. It's called a tether. Uh, oh, you know what? I might not have one. Um, the teleport tether was added. It's part of um, additional pipes, and there is not an additional pipes that is compatible with Buildcraft yet, so I don't have that. Well, darn. Maybe I can make a world anchor. I cannot make a world anchor at the moment. <laughs> a world anchor does the same thing, but is part of uh, Railcraft and is a lot more expensive. I don't have any obsidian yet. I do have these other resources, but I don't know if it's worth it. I may move this thing into my overworld or into my world for now. Let me uh, let me think about this for a minute. Okay, so while I was thinking about this, I went and checked the length of the video, and we're way over. Um, I was going to try to keep them under 30 minutes of video, and this one is already 36 minutes long. So. Um, I'm going to have to call this. Uh, so we got the quarry made, but not quite the way we wanted it. Uh, I will probably, next episode, move this into my overworld somewhere. Um, I keep calling it my overworld, but my age somewhere, so that as I'm working on other things in there, it will continue to run. Um, so this is Kyle with the uh, Brothers Claws. I will talk to you guys later.